Jane King, presented by Lee Kossel and Feigley Attorneys at Law. Jane King is live at the NASDAQ in New York. That's right, Jane. The latest government jobs report is expected today. That's right, Scott and Jeremy. So in about an hour, actually, we'll get to the June jobs numbers from the Labor Department. And economists expect 200,000 jobs gained last month. So a little bit slower job growth than what we saw in May is what we expect. There are some signs kind of bubbling underneath the economy that maybe the labor market is getting a little bit weaker. So this number is going to be very key today. Well, Walmart may face a class action lawsuit. Walmart must face a class action, a class action lawsuit that ruled that the retailer over charged customers with deceptive and unfair pricing practices. The plaintiffs argued that while the price discrepancies were small, they add up to hundreds of millions of dollars each year. One of the allegations in this lawsuit is that prices rung up differently at the cash register than were advertised on the store shelves. Walmart did not comment on this lawsuit. Well, high waters and flooding are causing crop damage to key growing areas in the Midwest. This includes Iowa, South Dakota, and Nebraska. According to Pro Farmer Crop consultant, there may be a half million to one million U.S. corn acres lost due to flooding. Plus, the flooding isn't over. He adds planting soybeans this late would be a risky proposition. Well, results are showing pasteurization does indeed kill bird flu. Bird flu has been found in 200 animals and three people in the U.S. Now, since the virus was detected in raw milk, the American Society for Microbiology investigated whether dairy products pose a risk to consumers. Researchers say that milk processing includes multiple layers of protection and it can destroy bird flu as well as other common bacterial pathogens. Well, the S&P 500 and NASDAQ rose to new highs in Wednesday's holiday shortened trading session. And today we're quiet as we wait on those job numbers that will be out at 830. Live from the NASDAQ market site, I'm Jane King. Back to you. Another tapering off of some of our COVID <laughs> habits. The fever for pools is starting to cool. That's right. So many Hoosiers, of course, have big pools, enjoy their backyard oasis. But it seems Americans are shifting spending elsewhere. Now, citing the pool equipment distributor, Pool Corp, CNBC says pool construction is expected to be down up to 20 percent this year. And amid the pandemic, of course, many of us, you know, we're homebound. We built the pools, renovated our backyards. But now Americans spending money on vacations and dining out instead. Guilty, Jane. I'm one of those. <laughs> Love a good meal. And we got a lot of good food in Indy. In fact, we do. Yes, we do. yes, you do. <laughs> Thanks, Jane. <laughs> Have a good morning.